what we have here is for this trig identity, uh, it's a little confusing initially, but on top, this is actually equal to uh, the double angle of the negative cosine, well, double angle to theta, and all this quantity squared. And what we're going to do here is on the num uh, denominator, we're going to split this up into sine squared theta minus cosine squared theta, and then sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta. Now what's going to happen next is uh, we can go ahead and um, this quantity here just becomes 1. And uh, let me see here. The next portion we can do is we can go ahead and convert sine squared theta minus cosine squared theta uh, into uh, negative cosine 2 theta. So what we're going to get here is... theta squared and we can convert this into that so what happens here is uh, you can convert this because what what ends up happening here is you convert this sine squared theta into one um, actually I'm sorry you actually convert uh, the, the cosine here into minus one minus sine squared theta this becomes negative 1, this becomes plus sine squared theta Oops. when you distribute that. So what you end up with is um, you end up with 2 sine squared theta minus 1, but then you pull a negative 1 out, uh, or just a negative 1, and you end up with 1 minus 2 sine squared theta, which is what we had on top. Well, actually, sorry, you don't have to have that, but it's double angle. Either way, what you're going to end up with inside there is negative cosine 2 theta. All right, so I showed that there, so I end up with negative cosine 2 theta. Let me see here. And we can get rid of this, and this turns this squared into just 1. And what happens next here is we get negative cosine 2 theta and we are going to get 1 minus 2 cosine squared theta from this. I'll just show you real quick why it's that way because the double angle is in the form cosine theta cosine theta minus sine theta sine theta which is the same thing as cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta and we want to manipulate this into what we have on the right side up, up at the top here right here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this um, take this uh, cosine squared theta. Let me make sure I get this right. So let me think here. Oh, um, before I do this, I got I forgot to distribute my minus sign. So I get I actually end up with sine squared theta minus cosine squared theta. So what ends up happening here is I'm going to take my sine squared and I'm going to convert it to one minus cosine squared theta. And then I have my minus cosine squared theta. And I end up with 1 minus 2 cosine squared theta, which is what we were looking for. And that's how you do it.